everyone, I'm Will, and today I'm going to show you how to process cattail rhizomes into a mashed potato style dish. But before that, remember to like and subscribe and comment down below, and don't forget to press that notification bell down below. Right here, I'm in a cattail patch, a really nice cattail patch, and I already like ate one of the rhizomes. Like you can eat them like raw and uh, just cut off the root. Then on the inside, like all organisms are uh, sterile on the inside, so it's nice and safe, even uh, right here. Um, with cattail patches, don't like harvest any of the cattails that are next to any like r busy roads or really any roads, unless if it's a small backwoods like logging road, it would more likely might be fine, or just a, like a little camp road, dirt road, that'll be also fine. But on the side of rivers, are actually uh, best to uh, harvest the uh, any part of the cattails because cattails like to uh, get in the, uh, chemicals and minerals bring them up out of the uh, soil and stuff and they use the cattails to take um, chemicals out of the like a toxic area and then they burn them to get rid of the uh, uh, like toxic metals and then they harvest the metals that way but when you have found a safe spot where there's no like cars and stuff right next to where there's drainage, there is a road over on the side over here, but it's a little bit uh, safe to uh, when there's a river in between you and the road. So it's early spring right now, and it's very easy to actually find um, cattail patches because all the cattail heads are gone to like puffy and everything like like this one right here. It's all puffed up, uh, most of them. And you wanna like just look right at the ground. This is before you uh, get the cattail shoots. This is right before, this is April right now, uh, the start of April. And you wanna be looking for a nice little area like right here. You wanna just basically grab at the base and just like right at the base and just like ease it. And this is really simple and easy if the uh, mud is really, and you want to just move it around slightly and it will come off. And because it's good to have a cattail patch right by the river, you can go right over to the river and keep the top of the cattail on still because you can then use that and dip it right into the water really simple and easy and it will just wash it right off and there's a few parts that you can eat right away that I'm going to show you here now right here if you can see there's little shoots that coming off so the cattail is in the ground like this and those shoots that are very small and tender that's uh, called a lateral when it's a little bit smaller than this this is the rhizome where the most cattails actually produce more cattails is actually by the rhizome, not by the uh, seeds and pollen and all that. So what you're gonna want to do is, first off, the section that broke off, you wanna cut that off. So it's very important to have a sharp knife and just slice that away, and it's going to be a nice white on the inside. And that white, there's gonna be a center part where it's actually, you want to eat, and then there's a soft outer part, almost feels like a marshmallow of uh, the texture of it and then you want to like basically cut right at the base of the root also there and that will slice and that's the section that you're looking for of turning into basically the mashed potato but only the center of this so we're not using we're using about half of what you see here so I'm going to collect a lot of these and then we can get to making ma mash cattails the way to actually process this is take your like thumb and your fingers, prop it, and then just like rip down. You want to get to that center part. So it's really simple. You want to make sure that you just you can just like peel it down and just strip it off. Now the first time of doing this, you'll more likely not do it properly. And you want to try and get as much as the center as you can. I'm doing this just a rough kind of quick right now, but not doing it as good. And just rip off the 
outer part where it feels like basically a marshmallow. And then the inner part where the feeling of this feels like more of a raw potato. And also the flavor of it is like a raw potato. Let's try this part because you can eat this raw. So first I'm gonna actually just cut off a piece because I don't wanna put this all into my mouth at once. I'm gonna cut off just that little bit. And let's try this little piece instead of this whole thing. This is the stuff that we're gonna turn into the mashed potatoes. All right, here it is. So imagine the f kind of flavor of just a rustic potato, but when you start chewing into it, it just releases almost like the texture of like cooked mashed potato. And all of the starches is being released, oh, that fell, um, from the fibers. And what is left is a small little wad of fiber. And you don't really want to eat the, uh, the fiber from this because it will basically clog you up and you won't feel good after that but we're gonna take the fiber out and make a fantastic mashed potatoes with it so I just found a like young shoot I just tried one and it tastes fantastic this is like still under the ground in the mud it hasn't come up yet but it's like really simple to like chop this part off you want to like score around and it cuts right off of the rhizome we're gonna still use the rhizome there and you want to just peel off basically the outer part. And then maybe cut off the top and eat this whole thing. If you can see the bottom part right here, uh, that's more like a, more of a like actually crunches like an apple song. Imagine like the outer rind of a cucumber flavor and texture. Tastes good. When you have found enough rhizomes, like what I have done, take the, uh, like a cattail um, leaf, like the whole entire leaf, and tie them up. When the cattails are all bundled up together, now you got an easy way to transport the cattail rhizomes back to process the rhizomes to make like a mashed potato like food. Now when you have finished processing and uh, breaking down all the fiber outer tissue and just going for the inner part of the rhizome, this is how much you actually get, if you can see with my hand. And the other part is all this. But you can toss this back in the woods and any little bit of uh, like fibers and starches that are still on here, the wildlife can actually eat. Or you can throw this into your compost and it has a good nutrition for your plants too. So when we're inside now, um, the next thing that you want to do is to stick the uh, rhizomes into a food processor with some water. The water is going to a little bit help extract the starch from the fibers and then we you can just take the fibers stick them outside back in the woods or in the cattail patch or stick them in your compost because there's going to be still nutrients and stuff and also the fibers can help aerate the, your gore and garden what you want to do is actually cut every single piece you want to cut it to about one inch sections like about one inch to put into the food processor because the fibers are going to like wad up the food processor and you want to make sure that the fibers are small enough in length that it's not going to stop the uh, blade moving around.
So pretty much when you're done separating, adding some water to basically the fiber stuff, this is the fiber that's left. I could keep working and get more of the starches out of this, but I'm going to just throw that in the compost. And then this right here is basically when you're done and you have it correct, it's going to be like a meringue-like like texture to it. And we're going to stick this on some heat to a little bit evaporate some of the water off to get it into that potato-like uh, texture and also the amount of like starch that's in this is very very thick now you want to add the marine like texture of the cattail uh, rhizomes you want to add this right to the pan and you want to constantly stir this you want to keep an eye until it's at that texture that you desire for mashed potatoes you want to turn the stove on to pretty low when you have gotten to about the point of where it's starting to look like mashed potatoes add some butter right to it or a lot of butter and stir that right in and then you're going to want to like turn the stove off and add it right into a bowl you want to do the seasonings after you can add, uh, if you want like to make it like garlic mashed potatoes, you can add uh, some minced garlic or fresh garlic um, while it's still on the stove. But I'm going to add a little bit of like salt and pepper, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of pepper. I'm going to go with just a tiny little dash of garlic powder. Okay, maybe a little bit more of a dash. And then just stir it right up. And it looks like mashed potatoes. Just like mashed potatoes. That, like red skin mashed potatoes, has that like very sticky texture. And if you do that, this is basically the same as like red skin potatoes. Let's try it. This just. It's. What? It smells just like garlic mashed potatoes. Let's try it. You could trick someone in a heartbeat. This tastes just like making mashed potatoes from red skin potatoes. The texture is exactly the same. The flavor is exactly the same. You could literally think this is red skin potatoes, but it's cattail rhizomes. This is fantastic. I recommend going outside, getting the cattail rhizomes, and making this. If you want any type of teas or any medicinal stuff, or if you want to start gardening in an apartment, I have on my website the link down in the description, top of the description, and you can actually go and start gardening if you live in the city or in a condo and get uh, the starter pack for that or if you want to get into like foraging I have all different types of foraging books for plants to mushrooms that you can start today to actually going out and harvesting your own food and medicine from the wild and that's how you make mashed potato like cattails if you want to see more, go down in the description below, click the link to my channel, or press the round subscribe button to help me out to get to 10,000 subscribers. And until next time, remember to get outside, get fresh air, and have fun. See ya.